This is a good one. <laughs> this is a good one. That means it's a bad one. No, it's not. <laughs> if you could go back to the first time we met, what advice would you give yourself regarding being in a relationship with me? And I can answer that because you already had other entanglements. Wow. Wow. So. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I would say, I still don't think I was ready back then. Mm. Um, you, you are a whole different person as well. That's, that's a long time. Yeah. I, I just think we would, we would have, it still would have, maybe would have fizzled out in, in the wrong way. Or yeah. not fizzled, maybe it would have exploded. Because mm. um, we were just two different people. Maybe yeah. an argument goes left and me from back then and you from back then button heads, it, it just wouldn't have been good. So um, I think I still would have told myself, just wait, get yourself right first. Mm -hmm. And, and take that chance. I mean, if, you know, if I take that chance and it doesn't work or, you know, you find somebody else or yeah. I find somebody else, then, it, you know, it, it happens. But I think I would have told my younger self, just, just wait a second. Just, you know, get yourself together, get your head on straight. Give it some time. Mm. What are your three favorite memories we share? <laughs> our picnic has to be number one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our picnic was great. Um, so many good ones. Oh, that's I guess I have to say, like, when we cook together, I'll say that. When we um, cook together. Mm -hmm. All right, so what's your favorite thing that we cook together? I'm say mac and cheese. That first time we did it was kind of, it was magical. It mm. was, I don't know, I'm not a chef, but I, I was close that day. Yeah, you did great. Some long one. Mm. How do our different upbringings affect our relationship, and why do you think that is? Um, well, you were raised. Not, neither of us were raised in a traditional <laughs> household. <laughs> um, you were raised by your auntie, your uncle. Mm -hmm. I was raised by my mother. Mm -hmm. Well, I was raised by three parents, right. but. My dad and my stepmom lived miles away. Mm -hmm. So, um, hmm. I, I think that <laughs> you are so patient in my, even in my, how do I explain it? Like when I'm upset or the yelling or the, when the conflict do arise, you just, you're calm. Why and do you I'm think the one. <laughs> because I guess you're just used to it. Like, um, you have a different kind of patience. You have patience for certain things. Mm -hmm. You've been around kids probably your whole time in that house. Mm -hmm. um, so you have patience with children that I don't have anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have it anymore. Um, and then of course you work in education. So yeah. when you around the kids, you have that patience. Yeah. You have that understanding. I, I'll respond and be like, yeah, I, I don't, I just wouldn't say anything back to it. I don't know what I would say. And you'd be like, no, you can't do that. You have to, you have to say something. Right. Sometimes on more, more days, like more than others, but. See, yeah. it's a different kind of patience. Yeah. It's my one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had what this one before. That? Oh, really? <laughs> when was the last time you thought about ending the, this relationship and why didn't you? I haven't had that thought. Never. Never. Not once. Seriously, like not once. That's and, and you know, you know, like when I get upset, I'll be like, I'll get my stuff and you know. You've done that. I ain't. You got your stuff. You only got to tell me once. I don't You only have anything. to tell me. That's the funny part. I'll take myself out of the equation, but no. I don't think anything has happened to where I'm be like, dang, I can't be with him. I, I would think that you would feel that more because of my attitude. Not that first argument was kind of. Yeah, that was a bad one. It was, I don't, I don't want to say it was bad, but I think the way it wasn't resolved, mm -hmm. I, I guess it goes back to a previous question where we're talking about how we resolve conflict. Yeah. 
I was like, ooh, if if this is gonna be how it's done, I That's don't know if that work. could work. Yeah. What are you hesitant to talk to me about? Um, man, they asked a few days ago. This has been rough, right? Hmm. Uh, what am I hesitant to talk to you about? I I would say before this week, there was always a feeling of. And I guess it's still there faintly. You could leave at any second. And of course, I mean, anybody could leave anything at any mm. second. But there was a, there's always this feeling over my shoulder of um, everything's going right. And it could just go wrong at any second. For whatever reason, something I did, something you did, something you want, something that I don't want, whatever. Mm. Um, and that's a, that's a terrifying feeling when you've been bonding with somebody in this way for yeah. eight months straight, yeah. just me and you kicking it, right. wearing our mask, <laughs> <laughs> um, being as safe as possible with everything. Mm -hmm. And um, everything's clicking, uh, it's moving. Sometimes it's too fast, sometimes it's too slow. Yeah. Um, but it's a good pace now. Yeah, things are slowly starting to open up in the world, mm -hmm. so we, we're able yeah. to be a little more free. But if anything, that's, I mean, that's kind of scarier. You know, maybe we got this close just because it was me and you. Mm, don't say that, Jared. I know, I know. It just, uh, that's the small, in the back of my head, that's what I think sometimes. My last card, are you ready? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> um, oh, that's gonna make me cry. <laughs> Why do you love me? <laughs> I love you because you put up with my mess. <laughs> it's really not I that just bad. be having a lot going on sometimes, on more days than others. <laughs> I love you because you're genuine. Um, there's never a second that I feel like you're not being yourself. Mm. I love. <laughs> I love that laugh. So I have to say my corny joke so you can laugh at me. Um, I, your heart is just so big. You put so much love and thought into everything you do. Everything that you're doing at the moment, you love it. And that's something I, I love so much. I, I adore it. And I think you've probably been the best friend I've ever had in the way, in the way you support me, um, in the way you just listen, even though I'm talking about stuff that makes no sense <laughs> to you. You make my heart so happy. Um, I love you because of the way you support me and your level-headedness. Is that a word? It's close enough. Um, <laughs> Mr. English degree. Um, like, and we've had this conversation. Um, the way you look at the whole picture and I look at like either immediate or the small, you kind of bring some, some sanity. Yes, I love you. You just make my heart happy. <laughs> I, I try my best every day. I feel secure and, and appreciated. It's going to be hard for you to get away from me. Hmm? It's going to be hard for you to get away from me. Not easily. So, yeah. I'm not trying. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Hey, beautiful people. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm Nick from The Skin Deep, and I just wanted to let you know that we've taken some of our most powerful questions from these sessions and put them into the end card game. So if you want to have more meaningful conversations, if you want to have deeper conversations in your life with the people you love, go to shop.theskindeep.com and check them out. Otherwise, thank you so much for being here. We love you.